Good day everybody. In this video, I'll be showing you the benefits of using selection tools in painting, making your life easier in shading. This will be short, so without any further ado, let's start the tutorial. First things first, let's make some preparations. I want you to prepare the shortcut for the quick mask. Quick mask can be found under select in menu bar. To quickly change the shortcut, drop down the file tab, select shortcut settings, Find the quick mask within select and change it into Q or any available key you have. Quick mask is very helpful in a lot of ways. We will get to that later. And then prepare your drawing, of course. Now what I do to color my illustrations is to start with a silhouette. Normally we paint this manually, but there's a lot of easier way and faster way to do it. When you're doing your line art, make sure to close all the edges of the character and leave no gap. Once you do that, make the layer into a reference layer. Use the auto select tool and select the outside of the character. Then invert the selected area by going under select in menu bar and then invert selected area. Or you can use a shortcut by pressing ctrl shift i. But sometimes it's hard to see which part is being selected. So pressing the quick mask key allows you to see the selected area and press it again to get back to normal selection view. And then on the other layer, press Alt Delete to feel a color to the canvas. But in this situation, you'll only feel the color to the selected area. You can use any color but I prefer mid grain because it is easier to blend with any color. Now using this silhouette, you're just gonna color it normally. Just lock transparent the layer and color everything into one layer. But during this process, eventually it will put you into hassle when you start shading. So this is the time we could use the selection layer. When you go under select in menu bar and click the convert to selection layer, it will create a layer with green icon in it. This is just an empty layer. When you paint something on this layer, you'll paint a translucent green in it. But this is still an empty layer. My main use to this is to keep a selection reference for later. You can create as many as you can and you can even put it, all of them, into one folder. You can change its color too, and this will be very useful. What I do is, I'll be making selection layers instead of layer to each color of my illustration. I'll assign different colors to each selection layer, and there should be spaces between same colors. Now the only thing you're gonna do is paint the shading on each area. To do that, hold Ctrl key and click the thumbnail of the layer you wish to shade first, and it will create a selection of that layer. Now if you only wish to paint a specific area, you can use a lasso under Selection Area tool. Then hold the Alt key and select the area you wish to deselect. And you start shading. And you keep on doing that to the rest of the illustration. And you should be good. Now this method can be useful if you're using line art or without line art. Without line art, it will change a bit and require some retouching to some areas such as corners to create more depth since there's no line art that could support the separation of details. So to make it look more three-dimensional, you gotta add a bit occlusion with the use of lasso tool. You could simply select some corners to darken. You could still use the existing selection layers to darken some corners, but there are just some areas that requires a manual selection. But for others who won't be using a pen display tablet, lasso selection can be tough to use. It takes practice, but the other solution is to use quick mask, the one shortcut I made you prepare earlier. Using the quick mask, you can freely paint the areas you wish to select using the normal brush or pen you've been using. It will paint red, but if you press the key again, it will become a selection. This is similar to the selection layer, but the quick mask is temporary and cannot be kept. 
you cannot create more than one layer of quick mask. I'm sure that the selection pen exists, but I prefer this one because I can see what I'm trying to select before deciding that I would make a selection out of it. And you can use it like a brush with different types of brush you already have including the density of it. And to erase some areas, you can simply use an eraser or a transparent color. I find this easier and more efficient. So that's it for today's tutorial. Hope this helps you a lot and speed up your process in painting. Thank you and have a nice day.